nitsellem l-telespettaturi kolla li jieti għarawna l-lum min ta' Madda Kaskar, l-lum għedina għunek fil-kumpless ta' Kottonera fej għadin naraw il-mostra dog show internazjonali u miħaj għaj kolli mistidna differenti min pajizi li ġow min l-Europa u għanki min barra l-Europa li ħajo ġobna n-intervistawom u nitalmu izjiet min dawn il-breeders li ġow għawnek malta biex jikompetu b'dil kompetizjoni. Għawnek għandi il-Mr. Joel Lanz li min Zvezja li ħanamlu li l-awwel intervista First of all, we'd like to first of all thank you for coming to Malta, to our lovely island, and take part in this international show. So basically, can you kindly give me some televiewers some more information about the breed you brought with you, and also some information about yourself and your your breeder club, please? Well, my name is Joel Lance. I'm from Sweden. I breed Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, which is a toy spaniel from England originally and um, it's not my first time in Malta but actually the first time at the dog show in Malta and it has been fantastic um, so I've shown this little girl Sophie and uh, yeah she was a junior winner which was great so you brought one dog with you or how many dogs did you bring with you for this competition uh, this is the one that I brought for the competition yeah yeah and uh, so you said it's your first time competing in this in an international show in Malta. And uh, what are what's your opinion about the level here? Have you do you think it's a good level? Are you happy with the level? With obviously how it's been organised? Do you recommend um, other perhaps Swedes to come to Malta and compete also next year? Oh yeah, definitely. It's been a great competition. Uh, the judges have been fantastic. Also the dogs and the standard of the dogs. Um, Brilliant. I've seen some really lovely dogs here in Malta, so, and the island is fantastic. So besides the dog show, there's a lot of things to see and do in Malta. So I recommend it to everyone to come to Malta and show, yeah. Fantastic. Um, another question. Can you also perhaps um, relate some information about the King, Ch King Charles? I know you're a very fond breeder of King Charles and you're also well known in your country also in an international level because you participate not just in Sweden you were telling me before but also in other countries um, can you give me some information also about this breed? Yeah, the, the Cavalier is, uh, is a companion dog basically uh, a toy spaniel companion dog um, perfect for any family they love children uh, they love agility um, they do searching uh, most of all they really like they do what the owner wants them to do. Uh, so they're fit for any family. They're not any good uh, like guard dogs, so because they love everyone. So may I ask how long have you been, uh, I mean, caring, I mean, breeding the, this breed for King Charles? This, has it always been your breed or you actually had other breeds before you actually started to bring King Charles? Uh, I was brought up with gun dogs. Um, so I've got a hunting license, uh, yeah. But um, King Charles, we had the first Cavalier King Charles in '94, so it's uh, quite some years ago then. So it's been nearly, uh, well, uh, over nearly 20 years. Now. Yeah, very good. Years. So, and you're very happy with this breed, and you intend, obviously, continuing your experience with this breed, and obviously passing it on to other countries. Because I'm sure you also um, sell your dogs from your your breeding. Obviously you breed and you sell obviously over overseas as well, right? Your kennel. Yes, we do. We have sold to uh, America, we've sold to uh, Brazil, we have sold to, actually to Malta. Um, we've sold to Finland, Denmark, Norway. Uh, so yes, we've, we have an international sort of name. Uh, I will always have Cavalier King Charles Band, the best breed in the world. I'm happy for you. I wish you the best of luck. And uh, I hope you enjoy your stay in Malta. And this will, will be just the, the first of many more experiences for the future. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. نعملو وسط انترفيستا ما جيش كومبيتيتوري اخرى اللي جو من جرمانيا ومن الامريكا من البوست 
من الامريكا جوا ومالتا تستطيع ماجنا كان فياجة دا السينيور و الانتوزيازمو لي عندو بيش جيف دي المسترة تانا و نك مالتا و هنتكلمو مخوم بيش يكون نازيت انفورماتيوني و نتالمو زيت فوق البريدز لي جابولنا um, First of all, I'd, I welcome you to Malta and thank you for coming to the competition, to this competition in Malta. Um, your name is Katia and you come from Germany, right? Um, can you give me some more information? Is it your first experience in Malta and what breed you've brought with us to show to, to compete in this competition? Um, it's my first experience in uh, Malta and I brought this um, Australian Shepherd and uh, my Tibetan Terrier. In all, you have two dogs. Yes. Um, you said it's your first time. I'm sure you compete also in different countries. Can you re um, kindly tell um, the televiewers what competitions you've taken part this year and what activities and your passion for for this uh, hobby of yours? Hey, this is gonna be a long show. <laughs> well, I've been to the to the world show in uh, Budapest, the European uh, dog show in uh, Geneva. That's just the big ones. I've been to America this year, Sweden, Finland, Belgium. Last week was uh, um, Croatia. So I've been all over. So it's very international. And what's the reason why you chose Malta? I mean, you've been in world world dog shows. You've been everywhere, and to come all the way all the way to our small island as well. It's a great honor to have you. We thank you for choosing us. But uh, what inspired you to come to Malta as well? Well, I haven't been um, to a dog show in Malta before, so my friend Ivan from Malta, he invited us um, for the last two years, but I never had time, so the, yeah, we made the time and came. Um, thank you. What's your opinion about uh, the level you find in here, the organization of the club? Are you happy with the, with the organization of, the, of this venue? Yes, it's, it's very nice. It's a smaller dog show. Um, well, in Germany we have a little bit bigger dog shows, but it's really nice and it's really nice organization and um, yeah, I felt well. You're happy. Just a small uh, description now about the breed you brought with uh, the Australian Sheepdog, right? Can you tell and sort of give some information to the televiewers, recommending them if it's a dog they can keep at home and some information also about the breed? I'm sure I didn't get you on one foot here. You should, <laughs> you should be so comfortable. I'm, I'm only the handler. Um, I can tell you something about the yes, Tibetan yes. Terrier. It's, um, okay. it's a really nice companion dog. Um, it has long coat, um, so you have to keep it in uh, well in shape. You have to keep every dog in shape. Maintenance. Have, uh, yes, uh, every yes. Day, um, Not every day, yeah. but once a week a bath. That's the same with them. So they're really friendly, happy, nice to people. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. I hope we'll have more opportunity to see you in other editions. Um, uh, welcome. It's Robert, right, from the USA. You came all the way, you flew all the way from USA to come to Malta. You actually live in Europe or I don't know. I live in Boston. So you came all the way from Boston, all the way to tiny the island, our island in Malta, right? So what brought you here? How did you get to know about the competition? I have two friends who actually own this dog. This dog is bred in the UK and uh, owned by two Maltese gentlemen. So they asked me if I could come over and help them with their dog and uh, enjoy the competition. Fantastic. It's What's really interesting is that it's we can really say it's an international show because what I've seen over here, we have a lot of different nationalities and I think the standard, what my question is here, what is your um, impression about the, the standard you've seen in this competition? Do you think it's a good standard competing if we have to compare it with other standards overseas? This comp I believe it's a very high standard of dogs and if you look at the dogs that uh, are shown here, locally, they're imported from all over the world, from South America, from America, and uh, throughout Europe. So it's a very high level of competition. Basically the Maltese breeders and all the Maltese, the people, have, the Maltese um, kennels who really have a passion are working hard to make sure that they keep the high standards which are basically found overseas and trying the best always to keep the best standards possible also in Malta, right? I believe so. They have um, found stock outside of Malta uh, and brought it into the country and uh, now they pursue their hobby. Fantastic. I would like to thank you once again for coming to Malta. 
and also I know you came from far away. You had long hours of, of a flight, flying, flying here to arrive here. Um, I was myself also quite far away a few weeks ago. I know it's it's a long trip. Um, um, thank you for your time. Thank you for your interview. I hope you enjoy your stay in Malta, and it will be and we'll be seeing you hopefully once again in the coming years. من بايس في يوكيسا خفنا يجي في نورويجيا جيت هناك زورنا مالتا بشتوه سامي وكل في الكومبتيشن في الانترناشنال دوك شو لاتسير هناك جوكوت تونيرا. First of all, thank you very much for coming. Your name is Brit. You told me, and you come from Norway. You've got a lovely um, Pekingese, right? Um, can you give us some information about your lovely dogs? Because I've seen your dogs. I believe it's more than one, right? You got how many dogs did you bring with you? Two. Two dogs. Yes. Can you give us some information about this breed, please? This lovely breed. Yes. Because I see there's a lot of work and a lot of grooming which has to be done here, right? We have the low coats. Low coats. Low, we have to low the coats. Yes, yes. If we want to have a Pekingese. You have a lot of dedication because to groom them, I think they must be groomed basically every day, is it correct? Or not of every day, maybe? Once a week. Once a week. Yes. Once a week. And uh, when we show that we uh, groom them when we are going to the shows. Yes, yes. Uh, but it's a very old uh, breed. Yes. It's from, uh, Abren, uh, from uh, organ from China. From China. Yeah. So the breed is originating from China. Ah, but no, it's an English breed. Same. Yes, and it's very old. It's um, a thousand of years old. One thousand years old. So this breed is a one thousand years old oldest breed and they uh, look nearly the same today as they did then yes, yes. how many um, dogs do you actually have Pekingese do you own at home uh, several seven seven so there are a lot of work believe me huh? you have seven children at home then yes. <laughs> And is it your first time? Yes. Is it your first time in Malta? Have you come? It's my first time here, and it's a lovely island. So you're enjoying your stay, you're, and um, I believe you also compete in different countries. Yes. You are well known in the Pekingese. I was speaking to a local um, breeder yesterday who spoke very well about you, and also told us about her passion, the passion you have for your dogs, and you've been how many years breeding Pekingese? Yes. I'm uh, breeding since seven, 1978. 1978. So it's nearly 40, 50, 40 years, over 40 years. So you know the breed very well, and I'm sure you have a lot of experience. So, regarding shows, which shows have you been apart from Malta? Where have you competed this year? At the World Dog Show in Hungary, yes. in uh, Euro Show in Switzerland. Um, all over the world, Gibraltar, uh, Latvia, Lithuan, um, yes. Um, so ba a lot of countries. So basically, um, the standard. What you're telling me, you've competed also like the other competitors in the World Dog Show. I believe the quality for you to come here. You already have a good knowledge, knowing that the quality you're going to find in Malta was also of a high level for you to come here. Um, are you satisfied with the show? Will, do you recommend it to your friends? Yes, I will. will. Yes, I will. Fantastic. We hope that we will see more people from Norway next year and more, enthousi not more enthusiasts like yourself who will come and obviously participate in our show. 
already planning next year. Fantastic. We are very Some very good friends who will come with us. Fantastic. Thank you very much for the interview and thank you also for choosing more. Participant oħra min Norveġja, il-sinjura jisima kru, għan itkelmu maħħa biex tfemna daċxej għan da brizza bieħ li u għal-papijon u għatatina daċxej jizjiet informazzjoni fuqa, għan italmu daċxej jizjiet min dawl participanti li nistaw naraw ġow min pajizi differenti u għazlu propju malta biex jidju jamlu daċx show għawnek u jipparticipaw dal livello oli, ovviamente dal clip di Raina, di Ftit, livello oli hafna, o certamente sgur li nis li gioa un ec il lum, o ma vero onorati o fortunati li stau jarau dal clip li partecipa o colla fil world dog show, li proprio gio un manta o col, o gli stau jarau dal livello oli o col fil paistana. Um, first of all, your name is Crew. Thank you for coming to Malta and choosing Malta. I see you have a, bre a particular breed. It's the Papillon, right? Can you give us some information to tell the televiewers about your, our breed, your breed, please? Yeah, uh, the breed is an old Spaniel breed uh, from uh, French and Belgium. And it's one of the few breeds who was not a working breed. They were just a luxury breed for the aristocrats. They were warming the rich people legs and arms and everything just for uh, for a family. Yeah. And uh, nowadays we are using them of course for family dogs, but a lot of show and they are very clever so they we use them to agility, tracking and obedience. So may I ask how long have you been breeding papillons? I have had papillons since 1987. That's a long time. So you have a lot of experience in this breed, and I presume you take part in many other shows. You've been at the, the World Dog Show as well. And can you tell us which shows you've been this year where you participated? This year I have been uh, in Scandinavia and in Italy and now in Malta. And we have some shows in Norway to go before the year is ending. And our plans for next year is, of course, to go abroad and definitely back to Malta. Fantastic. So you enjoyed your stay here. You are happy with the standards and the levels which you found here and the organization. Very happy with the organization and the people who is working here and they were so kind and also the people we are staying at hotel and everyone is so kind and very very satisfied and will of course recommend this. Once again I thank you. I wish you the best of luck for your future for your, all your, the competitions you will be taking part also in the forthcoming years. And thank you very much for choosing Malta and being with us today.
ma nkomplu um, inu rukom klip u priz differenti tanis li ġow mil-bot ħafna biex jikompetu f'dal kompetizzjoni um, internazjonali mostra li għawnek f'kottonera. Għawnek miħaj għandi il-Valeria u għandi il-Kristina li ġabu ġiġ priz uħra u ħaj spiegawna u ħaj tuna da ċeħiz jed dettali fu il-priz taħom. So, um, first of all, I would like to thank you, Valeria, for choosing Malta, for coming, attending to this competition. Um, can you give us some information also about your breed, the breed you brought with you? I brought here three breeds. Yes. Uh, it's a Dutch Hund, Rabbit Smooth Hair, Rhodesian Ridgeback and Dalmatian. So, three breeds, you brought three different breeds. And how was it? Was it a problem for you to bring three breeds all the way from Russia to Malta? Did you find any problems or was it quite smooth and it was quite, it, you had no problems whatsoever to bring them over? No, it wasn't a problem for us. It's the third time we come to Malta, so <laughs> we know any uh, veterinarian rules and everything about what we need to come to Malta. So it's not a problem, it's a very nice and easy trip uh, through the Europe. So basically you're recommending even people from Russia to come, from any country, but particularly Russia, where we, you were prepared and you had all the paperwork done and it is possible for you, it's your third event, third time that you came to Malta, you're participating for the third time and uh, you basically the reason why you came here for the third time is certainly because you enjoyed the previous experiences um, and I hope that we will be seeing you in future shows. Yes, sure. I will try to come maybe not every year but uh, it's a pleasure to come here. You have so beautiful country, so beautiful island and a very nice show. Thank you very much. So you're happy with the standard as well of the show? The standard of the dogs, um, the level is, is satisfactory, is of a high level. Yes, of course. Fantastic. Thank you very much for coming. We hope to see you more often. And um, thank you for believing in Malta and choosing Malta as an annual event because you've come three times. Hope to see you soon again. And thank you for the support. So with me on the other side, we have Christina, which is also from Russia. You're from Moscow. A bit far away, huh? How many kilometers? Oh, I don't know. I have but a far away. <laughs> is it your first time? Yes, it is first time in Malta. Are you happy with with your stay in Malta? Of course. <laughs> I have a very nice hotel, uh, five stars, wow. <laughs> and it is uh, good and the best holiday in this year. <laughs> very good. So, where were you this year apart from uh, Malta? Have you taken part in other events? Um, Shows? Maybe um, in Ma in Malta. No, no. Have you taken part uh, overseas? Were you at the World Dog Show? Did you take part in other shows in Russia? Is it your you take part in other shows? In Malta. Not in Malta, outside. outside. Uh, of course, I have uh, many shows in shows. in Europe and uh, in Russia too. <laughs> You're an enthusiast, you, you love taking part, love participating. So, can you tell us something about your breed? It's the Griffin, right? Can you give us, the televiewers, some information about the breed? Do you recommend, is it a, a family dog? Is it a docile um, character? Can you give us some comments? It is a Belgian toy dog, uh, three different color, red, uh, black and tan, uh, black. Um, it is a um, dog for family, for children, uh, it is companion dog. Uh, for the show it is um, not, uh, not so easy uh, uh, to, to show this dog because um, uh, the little dog and um, many uh, clever, uh, but uh, some shy. <laughs> I understand. It is not difficult, easy to handle because obviously the character is, is quite, quite particular. Um, I'd like to thank you for coming to Malta. We hope to see you in the forthcoming years and I wish you, both of you, the best of luck and so many, much more success in your future.
għandna l-aħħar intervista l-lum kif taf u għamilna għafna intervisti morna bdejna morna Norveġa, konna Zvezja, konna l-Amerika, konna Rusja, ġifiri dorna għafna u għan spiċaw baj jizdaq xej viċin iżjettana, ġifiri l-Italja għawnek miħaj għandi Tiziana u għandi Sebastiano li uħma u koll għazlu Malta, għazlu dil-mostra internazjonali u ġawawnek juru f-dil-wirja biex ovjament jikompetu ma kompetu t-uru joħrajn min pajizi għafna, min pajizi li ġow min kwazi mid-dinja kolla. Tiziana, prima di tutto grazie mille per la vostra visita a Malta. Questa è la prima volta che fate concorrenza qua a Malta? No, non è la prima volta, io da un anno e mezzo che vengo a Malta perché mi sono innamorata di quest'isola che è bellissima e perché ho anche ho tanti amici e mi sono trovata talmente bene per cui ne approfitto delle nazionali e dell'internazionale per venire qui a Malta. Bene, siamo vicini, hai portato una razza, partic sì, è una razza particolare, e poi ehm, la razza? Zurg Pincher, miniatura Pincher. A Malta non ci sono molti questi, questi fatti, questa razza. Puoi dire qualcosa, siccome è una razza un po' particolare, ai maltesi che forse graderei, graderei di, ehm, di avere anche loro ehm, un, eh, una razza così, perché è un, una razza che anche a me piace molto, è molto dolce, è molto amicabile. Puoi dire qualche, darci qualche informazione in più? Allora, questa è una razza tedesca, il Doberman discende dal Pincher e quindi è anche molto simile sia nei colori che anche nell'aspetto nell estetico. E nascono come cani da difesa, però noi li utilizziamo come cani da compagnia perché sono molto dolci. Io allevo questa razza da sette anni, lei è la mia femmina, una femmina di produzione mia, è nata da una femmina che ho acquistato in Russia e da un maschio russo, quindi io sono felicissima perché a 18 mesi ha raggiunto già grandissimi risultati e, e quando produci un cane così bello sei veramente soddisfatto. Prima di tutto complimenti, um, quanti cani hai allora tieni a, ca a casa nel kennel vostro? Io ho 30 cani sì. e ho la selezione del nero focato e del rosso cervo che oggi ho portato come rappresentanza a Malta sia il nero focato che il rosso cervo. Allora, in totale hai portato due cani? Tre cani, tre cani, due campioni e lei in intermedia. Allora complimenti e le auguro tanto successo nel futuro. Grazie, grazie dell'accoglienza di questa meravigliosa esposizione. Grazie. Speriamo che questa ovviamente non sarà l'ultima visita nella nostra mostra e la prossima anno posso anche qua farle un'altra intervista. <ride> Sebastiano, non, era un po' timido, nel, no, è, non, è importante di dire anche qualche parola ai nostri telespettatori perché hai un esemplare bellissimo qua che ovviamente i telespettatori vorrebbero conoscere meglio. Prima di tutto grazie per la tua, vostra, vis, vostra visita qua a Malta, eh, sua visita e spero che ovviamente anche lei, questa è la prima visita tu, sua? No, ter la terza volta. La terza volta anche lei. Allora, puoi dirci qualcosa sul, su questa razza? Beh, lui è un chihuahua pelo lungo, eh, fa parte del gruppo 9 cani da compagnia, sì. diciamo ne fanno tanta di compagnia. Sì. Eh, ancora è un piccolo, ha cioè 12 mesi, è giovane, si è comportato bene, ha vinto, quindi sono molto contento. Complimenti. Grazie. Ehm, quanti cani tie tieni nella vostra allevamento? 12. 12 cani, sono, sono tutti della stessa razza? Chihuahua pelo lungo e chihuahua pelo corto. Sei specializzato allora proprio in questo tipo di razza? Da quanti anni? No, ancora da un paio d'anni, poco. poco. Eh, vole, volevo anzi anche di, eh, da fare questo, porge, porgere questa domanda. Che pensi della qualità, del, del livello di questo torneo? No. Questo mostro? Abbastanza, um, abbastanza alta diciamo sei contento sarai qua anche forse l'anno prossimo devo tornare per forza perché con lui devo fare il campionato devo chiudere il campionato allora le auguro tutte e due tanto successo grazie per l'intervista grazie per il vostro ovviamente presenza qua a Malta e spero di vedervi ancora e fare anche tanto successo non soltanto qua ma anche nell'estero